Part of that $2 billion budget revision proposal, tax breaks at the pump. Democrats and the governor want to freeze the motor fuel tax for six months. It's a move they say would save you $70 million. But that amendment to a state house bill is getting some criticism from those in the gas industry. Our Demetrius Sanders spoke with some gas experts who are calling that proposed requirement unconstitutional. He joins us live in the studio right now. Demetrius. Well, Shelby Mark, as you mentioned, the Illinois budget for the 2023 fiscal year could be signed as early as tomorrow. But the way gas retailers may have to tell customers about relief at the pump is not being met with praise. To help address rising inflation, Governor J.B. Pritzker pushing for a temporary pause on the state's annual gas tax increase, which currently sits at 39 cents per gallon. They're doing nothing to lower them. Uh, all of this legislation does is stop a tax increase from going into effect. Now a change made to the inflation relief legislation, House Bill 1497 is becoming a further point of contention. An amendment filed this week would require gas retailers to post a 4 by 8 inch sign on pumps stating that the tax increase is suspended. The result of not complying, a $500 fine each day. You can't force uh, businesses or, or any person uh, to utter speech that, that they don't disagree with or they don't want to say. Sharp calling the move political in nature. I think the reasonings behind it uh, is so that the, the General Assembly can attempt to leave Springfield and say that they did something about high gas prices when in fact they really didn't. Peoria gas station owner Terry Beachler also questioning the effectiveness of requiring signs on pumps. People probably won't read it and, and the price change won't be that much where it would be noticeable. And if the legislation does indeed pass, he says the cost of making signs should not be on gas station owners. The state should supply them. It's, uh, no other state does that or ever has done that. It's ridiculous. Now, Sharp says if the amendment is passed, his organization will consider a lawsuit. I have reached out to the representative that filed the amendment and have not heard back at this time. Mark.